What's up everybody? I've uh, put this tutorial together for uh, Clavius 500. Sorry if I just butchered your name, but um, he wanted to know how he could uh, kind of improve his, uh, his Earth model by transitioning um, the day and night uh, textures um, and controlling that as much as possible. So I've basically set this scene up already. Um, I'm just going to walk you through it. Uh, I've got a null that's controlling um, the texture transition. Um, I'm in VPR here so you can see as I move the null around it's linked to the two textures. Um, and It doesn't have to be a null. You can make it the light so that every time it looks toward the earth, um, it will change the textures. Uh, or you can parent the null to the light. Uh, just whatever whatever you want, it's really uh, just flexible that way. Um, Alright, so now I'll, I'll walk you through it. Um, I've basically set up uh, on the sphere nodes, and uh, I've got the item info, <coughs> excuse me, which is the uh, null. It's taking the null information and the spot info for uh, the sphere, and it's comparing them. Uh, I stuck in this normalize just because it uh, it makes the transition a little smoother. Um, but anyway, uh, you compare the two with a dot, and then the normalize just kind of smooths them out. Um, and then I've plugged that into a gradient and inserted the two images um, through the keys. And uh, if, if you don't know, you uh, you have to got off screen here. Uh, you have to show output for both of those keys to get access to them. Um, so then you just plug color to color, and then color to color again. Um, and that's basically it. Um, I've also um, got to make sure that these are spherical mapped on on Y or whatever uh, you want. But um, that's basically it. Uh, it's a pretty simple setup. Um, you can take it from here and pretty much uh, make it more complex if you want. Uh, but that's basically it. Uh, thanks for the request. If you've got any more questions or uh, other requests for tutorials or whatever, just uh, let me know. Thanks.